All right, NFC Championship game, Tom Brady versus Aaron Rodgers. Tampa Bay's at Lambeau Field to play the Packers. Bucks beat up on the Saints last week. The Pack beat up on the Rams. No Antonio Brown in this game, but the Bucks have plenty of weapons. All right, Bucks at Packers. Let's make a pick. The source. 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 Okay, this line opened up at Green Bay minus three and a half. And as you can see, it actually spent most of the week at three though. Because as soon as it opened, a little bit of Tampa Bay Bucks money came in, knocked the number down to three. But when it knocked down to three, for the rest of the week, the money was creeping back towards Green Bay. So here we are on Saturday night and actually enough Green Bay money has come in that most books have moved the line back to three and a half. So it looks like we got Green Bay minus three and a half. That's the line we're picking at. So the Tampa Bay Bucks absolutely routed the Packers earlier in the season. Green Bay went up 10-0 only for the Bucks to rattle off 38 unanswered. They won 38-10. I know a lot of people are out here using that game as a model to make this pick. That's a huge mistake. That game was back in October. Three whole months ago, both teams have gotten a lot better. That game was in warm-ass Tampa Bay. This is a playoff game in the frozen tundra of Green Bay. I would, I'll go as far as to say that game is completely irrelevant in making this pick. So normally this is the part of the video where I would compare the two teams, offense versus defense, offense versus defense, but there's no need. I mean, by this point in the season, we all know Green Bay's offense, Tampa Bay's offense, we all know it. Plus, well, this is the NFC Championship. Both of these teams are good enough to win in a number of ways. So rather than do that, I'm gonna skip right into the prop bets. So like I said, Antonio Brown is out, which to me, it means more targets for other Tampa Bay Bucks receivers, specifically Mike Evans in the cold. You need a big physical receiver like Mike Evans. I like Mike Evans to have a big game in this one. I know he's been dealing with a little bit of an injury recently and he was limited in practice all week, but this is the NFC Championship game, man. He's gonna show up, which is why I'm betting Mike Evans to score anytime, which is at plus 135. I'm also betting Mike Evans to score two or more touchdowns at plus 700. Another prop bet I like, Zadarius Smith of the Packers is probably playing the best football of his career right now. So I'd like him to record a sack. I'm gonna take Zadarius Smith over one half sack. Uh, that's at plus 105, I believe. I really like that one. And for my last prop bet, I'm gonna take Leonard Fournette over 22 and a half receiving yards. I can see Tom Brady, especially early in the game, in this cold weather, checking down a lot hitting Fournette for a few passes early. I don't think it should be a problem for Fournette to get over 22 and a half receiving yards, especially because he's shown he can catch passes out of the backfield in the past. As far as the total, the public likes the over. 68% of the bets on the total are on the over. The money's closer to 50-50, but the public overall is on the over, which is why you already know I'm fading the public. I'm gonna take the under, under 51 and a half points. As far as the pick, I was gonna take the Bucks plus three anyway. I was taking whoever's getting the points in this one because I think it's gonna be a toss up. Now that it's moved to three and a half and I can get it at three and a half, that makes Tampa Bay a must play for me. Now this is a, the NFC Championship game. So if you, I'm not faulting anyone for taking the Packers here, especially how they looked last week. But in my opinion, this is a anyone can win. So I'd rather have those three and a half points in my pocket. Give me Tampa Bay plus three and a half, lock it in. If anything changes, I will tweet it out and put it on my Instagram story. So if you're gonna follow me on that pick, make sure you check those two platforms to see nothing's changed. Let's go Bucks.